Besides Expendables 2 just coming out and probably going to be the best damn movie of the year, maybe the best damn movie ever made. It's also a momentous occasion because it marks the fucking big screen return of Jean-Claude Van Damme. And today, we're going to be reviewing the Jean-Claude Van Damme action flick, Maximum Risk. Maximum Risk is one of the last big fucking budget theatrical release Van Damme movies. It's got a real interesting story. You know it's going to be a classic when you got fucking double Van Damage going on. That's right, this is one of the films where he plays a fucking <laughs> pair of twins. As many of you know, Van Damme went on to set a Guinness Book of World Records record for fucking playing twins the most time in the movies. That's how you know a guy's a good actor when they're like, not only do we want you in the movie, but we want you to play two motherfuckers. That's how good of an actor he is. This one though, doesn't have a lot of twin action going on. The movie starts out, Van Damme's running through the fucking streets of France. He's all greasy looking and shit. He's got a leather jacket on, a couple guys chasing him. They go fucking run up a building, run off. He jumps off. He fucking gets in like some little like ice cream cart shit, like a little motorcycle. He gets run off the road. He fucking dies. And you're like, holy shit, man. We're only like five minutes in this movie. Van Damme's fucking dead already. What the fuck's going on? Then the big reveal. Fucking twice the Van Damage. jean claude Van Damme also plays a French cop. Goes in, his buddy's like, hey man, you gotta see this. I thought this guy was you. Looks, he sees the motherfucker, he sees the other Van Damme laying on the stretcher all dead. Like, instantly he just knows, hey, this motherfucker must be my brother, even though, as far as I know, I never had a brother. So he goes to his mom, mom, did I have a brother? I found this fucking other dead Van Damme and shit. He, we gotta be related. The mom spills the beans. When I had you guys, you was twins, but I was poor. I couldn't afford one kid, so I had to sell one off to a lawyer. This is one of the movies where Van Damme really acts good. It was actually directed by Ringo Lam, really good Hong Kong director, who actually directed the original version of Reservoir Dogs that Tarantino ripped off and shit. So, you know, this guy's like a world-class director. Even though he was working with Van Damme, he wasn't trying to make, like, no dumb shit, like, like Sudden Death or anything, or Double Team. He was really, like, trying to fucking bring it out of Van Damme, get him to be a good actor, and it is one of his best performances, I gotta say. So Van Damme, he shows up to the lawyer who broker the deal to sell his fucking twin brother. Shows up, the fucking lawyer is dead, fucking shit on fire. He sees like a, a big ugly motherfucker with bleach blonde hair running out. Fucking he goes in, tries to save the lawyer, the lawyer is dead. That big motherfucker runs in, starts beating Van Damme's ass, and it, it's a fucking awesome action scene, man. They fighting this burning down a fucking office building and shit. Just, I mean, it's real too, and it's not just like stuntman shit, like the back of their heads. Like you see, it's Van Damme. You see, it's this motherfucker fighting it out, to throwing each other in the fire and shit. Like when this movie came out, it was just, you know, oh, it's just another Van Damme movie, whatever. It was cool and everything, but with how shitty movies are nowadays, you look back, like this shit is pretty impressive. Some of the shit they pull off. Fucking Van Damme goes on to find that his brother fucking was a Russian gangster, even though he wasn't Russian, he was French. But you know, he got shipped off to New York. Grew up with a fucking Russian gangster family, so he became a fucking Russian gangster and shit. So Van Damme shows up in New York, like, you know, he's just like blown away that he has a brother. He wants to know everything he can about his brother. So he shows up, but thing is, everybody's, you know, mistaking him because identical twin shit, double the Van Damage. Everybody's mistaking him for his fucking, you know, Russian brother, fucking Mikhail Subodorov. And so, you know, fucking hijinks ensued, Russian mobs after him, all these motherfuckers after him. Basically, Long story short, the guys who actually killed Van Damme in the beginning were actually some corrupt FBI agents. Then you got the Russian mob. They're fucking kind of working for these FBI motherfuckers. Surprise, surprise. So basically what it came down to was the Russian Van Damme. He had like a CD or some shit in a lockbox that was going to expose all this corruption. Both of the Russian mob and of the FBI and shit. And because they killed the fucking Russian Van Damme, they got to get the fucking real Van Damme. The fucking French Van Damme to go to the, you know, the bank over in France and fucking get the shit and fucking get it out for him. Along the way, he meets up with uh, his his dead brother's fucking girlfriend, fucking Tasha Hinstrich, looking, I gotta say, man, looking very fucking hot. She shows her tits like two or three times in this movie. So this is before, you know, she wasn't shy. She was just fucking letting them out for the world to see. Must have been right after Species or some shit. You would think like, yeah, of course they're going to hit it off because, you know, she was his brother's girlfriend and shit, but it's kind of fucked up. I guess like the stress of almost getting killed and getting chased by a Russian mob. They end up boning, man. It's just like a weird thing because you're watching it and it is a real quick scene, but you're just watching it. It's like, well, what a Van Damme thing. He's going to have sloppy seconds of his dead brother. And then what is she thinking? She just closed her eyes, fucking wishing it was the Russian badass Van Damme. It's very strange. One of the most complex Van Damme plots of all those movies. Usually just like somebody dies, you got to go avenge their death. Not this one, man. They put a real story into it. Put a lot of real emotion into it. Fucking Van Damme actor, man. And sorry, you know, I know a lot of people are going to laugh when they see us, but Van Damme's a pretty fucking good actor, man. I'll give him his props. Fucking Natasha Henstridge, 
titties never look better. You know, Ringo Lamb bringing it. Hardcore international action, you know, no pussy CGI, everything in the movie was real. I won't give this motherfucker an 8 out of 10. Just being a Blu-ray, but being an older movie, you don't know if they're going to do good or do not. Fucking, you know, it looks pretty fucking good. There's a few parts that looked a little, like, like artificially edging, like the picture kind of, like, I don't know, kind of had, like, a weird vibe to it. But for the most part, it looks very film-like, you know, pretty good for an old movie, but, you know, not as good as the fucking the really big budget new movies. The sound they did do with True HD Remaster sounded pretty fucking good. Above average, but not exactly like demo material or whatever, but it's still good. Picture and sound, I gotta give Maximum Risk 7.5 out of 10. Probably could have looked a little better, maybe if they would have done like a new remaster, but it's not bad at all. This is probably the best this movie's ever gonna look. Only place this disc suck is Special Features, man. All we get was the theatrical trailer, which, hey, it's cool and all, but, you know, then they have some trailers for some other movies on there, just, I don't count that shit. Only theatrical trailer, sorry, special features, I gotta give it 1 out of 10. So that's it for Maximum Risk, man. Fucking good, solid movie. Fucking, it was nice to see it again. Fucking, it's got me pumped to see Van Damme back up on the big screen again. Where he be fucking belongs, goddammit. Stop it with the fucking pussy PG-13 movies. Let's get some of these guys like Dolph and Van Damme. Let's get them a couple good send-off movies. Fuck this PG-13 bullshit. I want real men kicking ass on screen. Fucking throwing motherfuckers' faces through plate glass windows and shit. I never camped out for a movie before, you know, and I'm not like a Star Wars nerd or anything. But hey, man, fuck it. I'm just, right now, I'm so excited. I'm thinking about grabbing a case of beer and just going to fucking sleep on the sidewalk for two days outside of theater until Expendables 2 starts, man. Whew, it's going to be fucking amazing. I cannot wake up!